Welcome to Veronica Vibes Full Sturgeon Moon Meditation for August 1st, 2023. I'm the Veronica of Behind the Vibes, and thank you for sharing space and making magic with me on this full moon. For more information about this moon phase in particular, please read the caption to this video prior to meditating. It'll also help you clarify your intentions before entering the meditation. When you're ready, please make your way into a comfortable meditative posture. You don't need to sit with your legs crossed or like a yogi, but instead find a comfy pose that you can sit and maintain stillness for about 13 minutes for this meditation. On your next inhale, breathing your spine and neck upright, straight, Exhaling the shoulders down and back from the ears, grounding and relaxing. Make sure that you're sitting comfortably on the sit bones, wherever you're resting, and take the next few breaths to really align your spine and find your center. Staying with your breath, centering yourself. In just a moment, we're going to chant OM three times. Chant along with me aloud to feel the vibrational frequency directly or allow the frequency to fall over you as I chant this primordial sound. We chant OM three times in succession as it unites the body, mind, and soul or spirit. Om is considered a primordial sound because in the ancient Hindu texts, it's synonymous with the sound that started the universe. And for this full moon meditation, we are going to be shifting our universes, our realities to realign with the divine within us, to let go and release what no longer serves us, and to manifest what's truly meant for us. Keeping the hands gently resting the palms down on the knees, or inhaling the hands to Namaste or Anjali Mudra at the Anahata or Heart Chakra, Heart Center. Let's take one more big inhale together. Oh. Inhaling once again. One last inhale. Ah. Releasing the rest of your breath. Relax completely wherever you're resting, keeping your awareness on your breath. Gently, slowly, deeply, and rhythmically, inhaling and exhaling. Let's continue going deeper into the meditation, preparing the mind by relaxing the body entirely. You may feel called to completely recline in a corpse pose or a shavasana, or maybe you're prone to falling asleep easily or during meditation, in which case I suggest maintaining an upright seated position and perhaps keeping your eyes open at a relaxed 45 degree angle focusing on one single point or dristi throughout the rest of the meditation. 
taking a breath, inhaling from the base of the spine where the body meets the earth, breathing all the way up the spine to the crown of the head, and on the exhale, fully releasing and relaxing the body and the breath at the top of the head. We're going to start here and make our way down to our feet, bringing your awareness to the scalp to completely release, relax, and rest the head down through the ears, the forehead, releasing the brow, relaxing the lips, the cheeks, unclenching the jaw, releasing any tension through the neck and the shoulders, releasing any tension through the upper back, through the middle and lower back. Relaxing the chest, the heart center, the stomach, allowing your insides, your stomach, your intestines to unfold, creating more space. Bring your attention and your breath a little bit lower, relaxing through the low back, the pelvis, the groin, the hip flexors, relaxing and releasing through the thighs. Letting the knees and the legs and the feet be heavy, completely releasing any tension in the lower body, giving yourself and your entire body here permission to fully relax and release, bringing your awareness back to the breath for the next few moments of silence. While the body is resting, keep the mind active and the awareness awake, focusing on the breath. If you feel your mind wander at any point in time, now take a spirit walk with me mentally. Imagine yourself walking along your favorite body of water. Feel the earth beneath you, deeply rooted in the present moment. Hear the flow of the water next to you. Feel the wind with your inhale, and allow your exhale to be carried away with it, along with your gaze, mentally lifting your eyes up at the full moon over the water. The Sturgeon supermoon is bigger, brighter, and closer than you could ever imagine, and drop your gaze down to the pool of water before you, searching your reflection as if you are searching your soul. Through the murkiness, what is it that you see that you love about yourself? What characteristics come to the surface that remind you of your uniqueness, your individuality? What is it that brings you joy and happiness in this reality? Allow your breath to calm and still the waters so you can see yourself. Is there anyone surrounding you in your reflection? Sit in stillness and hold the space for the answers that are in true alignment with your soul and not your ego. We meditate to tap into the peace and stillness so that your soul may speak and so that we can hear. What does your soul remember from the last time the moon was in Aquarius? January 21st of this year, almost six or seven months ago now. Review your year so far and ruminate on what brings you feelings of happiness and pride. When the moon is in Aquarius, she is asking us to remember exactly who we are and what we're here for. 
So smell the salt and the water in the air and see the supermoon right before you as a portal. And mentally or aloud, repeat these affirmations to realign with your soul and purpose. I revisit my past. I reevaluate my priorities. I remember what's important to me. I restore my positive intentions. I regain my confidence. I recall who I am and I reaffirm my purpose. I reflect what I am, the physical embodiment of love. I redirect what's not for me. And after that last affirmation, take a deep breath and with the exhale, redirect and release what's no longer serving you directly into the supermoon, a portal straight to source that will transmute those vibes into a higher state of pure love and light. Truly embody what it will feel like to let go of anything less than love, what's no longer serving you with every exhale through the full moon. Shift your reality through this full moon portal by focusing on how exactly you'll feel once you release these things and create the space for what's truly meant for you in alignment with your soul and your purpose. And on your next inhale, I invite you to mentally rise and walk back to your body, feeling deeply rested and relaxed, grounded in the present moment. Draw your awareness from your breath back to the body, perhaps wiggling the fingers and toes, gently nodding the head yes or no, and humbly blinking the eyes open lifting the head a few feet in front of us to adjust our vision and our senses. Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me for this full Sturgeon Moon meditation. I hope you caught some good vibes, and I'm excited to share space with you and make more magic next time. For the next Moon Cycle meditation, make sure that you like and subscribe to be notified.